There are a couple of different reasons why I'm starting to become a little bit worried about the Boston Celtics and where they're headed as a team obviously coming off a bad loss versus the Magic in Orlando and I don't want to take anything away from the Magic because quite frankly they are a very good defensive team and they showcase that versus us but at the same time I look at this game you know specifically against the Magic and I, there was a ton a ton of flaws that went you know really sell for the Celtics in this game a ton of different areas where we need to improve and if we don't going to be a long season here for Boston now things are looking good I'm not saying it's time to panic but I think we need to stand up look ourselves in the mirror and understand where we need to improve as a team as a unit and you know even as a coaching staff I think there are some guys that need to you know play a different role and just be better when it comes to making sure guys are in the right position are in the right area and are focused on the right things especially the number one thing is coming out of halftime with the same energy that you had in the first half and I mean We've seen this countless times, countless times. The Celtics start the, the first quarter, second quarter off really well, and then third quarters, we look terrible. I mean, when we look at the stats, the Celtics actually rank number three in the NBA in first quarter points, number eight in the NBA in second quarter points, and then the third and fourth quarter, we look completely terrible. We actually rank dead last in the NBA, dead last, no joke, in third uh, quarter points. How? How do we manage to have such great first and second quarters and then look like the worst team in the NBA in third quarters? We need to fix that, and it's not Joe Missoula because this has been a thing all the way back to Ime Udoka. So I don't know what it is. I don't know where we need to, you know, improve that or how to improve that. We just need to make sure that we come out with halftime break and make adjustments because what I think it is, I think it's maybe in the lack of adjustments coming into the third quarter or maybe... Maybe our guys just think, you know, we're up by 12, we're up by 11, we're up by 10, whatever it may be. I think we can just rest in the third quarter and, uh, you know, get ready for the fourth. And no, it's not what it is at all. Because what happens is, you know, we come out in third quarter, you put up 25 points, they get, you know, 32. And just like that's a five-point game going into the fourth, they have the momentum. And that's when we blow the games the most. But specifically here versus the Magic, it wasn't just the third quarter. It was the entire second half. We put up 40 points. In the second half and to put that in perspective we scored 56 points in the first half 40 in the second half and lost or got outscored a ton a ton 113 to 96 in this game and we just looked terrible now the, that's the first major issue with this ball club this ball team right now the celtics we need to come out of the halftime break energized we need to come out ready to just put the foot on the gas and run them out of the building now, trust me, I know the Magic are a great defensive team. They, they, they're 11 and 5 for a reason. They are a good team. So, nothing to take away from the Orlando Magic. I feel like the Celtics have to be more consistent. That's what I want to see out of them. But that is not the only problem with this Celtics team. Another big problem is the fact that we allow so many offensive rebounds and you know it really really affects the game maybe some of you guys think it doesn't hurt us tremendously but it does let's take a look at um you know their numbers they had 13 offensive rebounds 13 offensive rebounds guys they took nine more shots than us and they had nine more offensive rebounds than us whenever you get or whenever a team shoots more um shots than you you're probably going to lose that game or at least you're, you're giving them uh, you know a chance to win it um, you know a better chance to win the game and versus the the Milwaukee Bucks I believe they had almost 17 more shots as us in that game that is something you cannot let happen so I've been preaching a ton and a ton and a ton we need to box out and it's not just one player it's not just Porzingis it's not just Al Horford it's Jalen it's Jason it's Derek White it's Porzingis it's out everybody as a collective needs to box out we can't just push the fast break because what happens is they get the offensive rebound they get a put back they get an easy basket and they just continue to do so they continue to feed off that energy they continue to look good because they are rebounding the basketball and another big issue are free throw shooting I don't know what it is and again it's not just Jalen it's Derek White it's you know a bunch of guys in this game we were 27 of 37 we missed 10 free throws we missed 10 free throws i mean if we would hit those it would have been a closer game obviously still would have lost but those are crucial down the line so we need to be able to hit our free throws i don't know what it is i don't know why we can't hit free throws but that needs to improve we also shot 24 percent from three and i feel like we did a better job in this game trying to attack the paint 
um and, and i actually think we did a good job doing that we only shot 40 percent from the field which is terrible we had 31 to 76 they were 43 of uh, 85 so they're right around 50 percent from the field 40 percent from three they out they outshot us they outscored us they out um you know better field goal percentage better three-point percentage they pretty much out rebounded us um they out assisted us we had five more steals one more block and we we're still not able to win this game because because they just kept and kept and kept getting offensive rebounds and um you know there's a lot of issues with this team and i hate how everyone goes and and blames jalen brown i know jalen brown had one of the had a great first half and then on the second half he looked terrible i don't know what it was i don't know what happened to jb but he did look terrible but i hate when people just pick him out because he is the highest played pair in, uh, player in the nba i get it i get it uh, but what you guys have to understand is you know he is not he's not in the same role as he was last year he's not getting as many shots he's not getting as many touches um obviously this game he got a lot of touches but i feel like for the majority of the season he is not going to get the 22 shot attempts a game like he did over the last couple of years because we have porzingis because we have Derek white because we have drew holiday quite frankly he's the guy that has to you know refit into a role he's the one who has to take a step back so yeah obviously he's not going to average 27 points a game i know you guys think oh he's the highest pl uh, player in the nba highest paid player in the nba he should be averaging 27 to 30 points a game it's not gonna happen it's not gonna if he was on the wizards he would probably average 30 to 31 points a game and then you guys would be saying yo he's the best player in the nba no it's it's because he's fitting into a new role. He's got to fit with Jason. He's got to fit with Porzingis. He's got to make sure this team is getting the, you know, the, their fair amount of shots. Because, you know, if you look back at that old team uh, with Kyrie and Gordon Hayward and Terry Rozier, that team never worked. And the reason it was because everyone was so selfish. Everyone just take the ball and chuck it up whenever they got it because they, uh, you know, they wanted to prove themselves. Terry Rozier and Marcus Morris and Jalen and Jason and Al Horford and Gordon Hayward and Kyrie Irving and Marcus Smart and everyone on that team wanted to shoot the ball and they got it because they quite frankly didn't get as many looks as they should have um so i i think this team you know doesn't have that problem because we have maybe seven eight guys that i really really trust with the ball in their hands uh but we we're playing very unselfish style of basketball when we move the ball that's when we're our best so you know when we have bad games don't blame one player blame the team as a unit um you know Derek White did not have a great game at all Al Horford played you know very sloppy throughout the entirety of this game I mean Al was a minus 26 Tatum was terrible in the first half uh definitely picked it up in the second half but there was a lot of players that didn't play well at all in this game and I feel like we need to you know be fair when we criticize these guys yes Jalen had a terrible game but so did half the team but we need to be better. We need to figure out how to be more consistent. We and, and, Listen, I agree. I think Jalen needs to be more consistent. I think Tatum needs to be more consistent. The entirety of our unit needs to be more consistent. But you're not going to get that until you start ironing out or ironing out the, uh, the, the statuses or the, uh, you know, the areas of our game where we're terrible in and that is free throw shooting that is allowing offensive rebounds that's turning over the basketball in third quarters those are the four major issues with this team right now because we just suck when it comes to all of those we never get rebounds we never box out i mean they out rebound us by 17 17 and that that cannot happen obviously it was a bad shooting night shot 24 percent from three 40 percent from the field um we need to be better only 17 assists today or yet last night i don't i don't know what, there, there's a bunch of issues and we, we need to figure it out quickly because you know it is a long season i'm not gonna hit the panic button yet but there are a ton of areas where that need to improve and like i said third quarters consistency rebounding the basketball um we need to be better so let me know what you guys think hit the like button. i know i rambled off a little bit ranted a ton in this video but let me know what you guys think i feel like i had just a lot to get off my chest but Hopefully we can, uh, you know, come back tomorrow, play the Hawks. Make sure you guys also check out the main channel. I'm going to be streaming every single Celtics game for the rest of the season on my main channel, which is just Matty Dubs. It's got about 62,000 subscribers, so go check it out. Join the family, turn on post notifications. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.